Okay, let's uh, take a look at this GP38. This is one I'm going to paint in the, uh, the BNSF blue scheme. Let's take a look at the bottom of this locomotive. Um, this is a uh, the two this Weaver built two different GP38s. The first one had plastic pilots on it. Then they, then they made this one and began to make a two rail, three rail out of uh, this uh, Weaver GP model, uh, GP38-2. Uh, so they make a, two different uh, locomotives out of it. If you look at the bottom of it, see where they, you can buy it with or without sound, I believe. Um, you can see where here is the uh, cylinders. Uh, I guess you remove these uh, two screws right here, and this is where the uh, smoke units or whatever it, where they's gonna place in it for the three rail. Uh, you look at the different bottom parts up here. Um, I was gonna try to replace this cylinder, but this is all one piece. This is all one metal piece. Uh, I forgot that uh, the other the plastic one had a cast. This side here is cast to this plastic piece here, and the, the older version, where you had to cut this off and replace. And then I replaced it with a brass one. Uh, I don't know if I can get a hold of any of the older ones, but you can still be able to make a uh, undynamic GP38 or a uh, CNO GP39 out of it. Um, so as uh, we want to do is. Um, Okay, here's the front end of the locomotive. I removed a lot of the castings from both sides. Um, I don't know if the classification lights are still on there or not, if I had to take them off. I haven't exactly decided which locomotive I want to work on. They had the, um, well right now I think they have like 12 or 6 of these BNSF blue locomotives. Uh, some of them still have their the nose are still painted, the front pile is still, the front nose is still painted uh, white and some of them are blue. Uh, I don't know if they had these castings on there or not. I haven't decided which one exactly which one I want to build. The 2044 is the main one I'm looking at. But they had, they had the uh, ditch lights uh, at an angle on this side. I actually don't like these uh, cast on grabs but I'm on day metal. I'll keep keep them on there. Okay, you also see there's a um, sand filler here. I don't even know if that's on there. Now I'm about to check, you know, or if it's different from the uh, this BNS blue or a different type of door on there or not. But if this is the first time you worked on a locomotive, or how to take some apart, take pictures of it before you take it apart, so you know. Uh, what you when you put it back together, so it's really very easy. All you just take cup, take photographs and each time you take it apart, so you know each each where each part goes. You can tell from the back pieces to the front pieces. The pilots on both ends are the same. I don't think they're different from one or the other from the metal pilots that were on here. There's no different between the two sides. But take a picture of it before you uh, disassemble it. Okay, if you look right here, this part right here comes completely out. This whole unit, the, the dynamic brakes and the paper air filter. And you actually replace this with a non-dynamic non, 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 non brake. Um, be able to rebuild this, take regular styrene plastic and rebuild this entire area here. Whatever, you, whatever railroad you're working on, you can actually make this into a GP39. It's not that very hard to make a stack for it. That's pretty easy to make. Um, just use a regular styrene sheet. Uh, they have quarter rounds. They have different sizes of quarter round. And you replace it. You actually can match your quarter round to this section here. Go all the way across. And you have you a GP39 or, or a uh, um, GP40. You can make with this. They had the same. They, these three locomotives are have all the same length to the dash two, the GB40, GB40, not the GB40 dash two, 
the GP39, uh, you want to do the CNO, and mainly people who has the GP39 or the CNO. I thought the Illinois Central may had some, but I had to check again to look look if, if they had any uh, GP39. So I know different railroads had GP39 dash twos, but I don't know if the uh, Illinois Central or the GMO actually had uh, some of these GP39s. Okay, here's uh, some photograph of some of the uh, BNSF GP38s in the blue scheme. Uh, if you look at the uh, dynamic brakes, now this looks like it might be a, almost look like an SD35. Look how small this paper air filter is. If you look right there, uh, look on this side. That's a small, very small paper air filter. So this not might not be exactly a GP38. This is the 2050. Now this is a GP38. This is, matches exactly what the uh, Weaver model looks looks like. Right there. You notice the uh, dynamic brakes here compared to the uh, 2047 note the dynamic brakes right there see like it's cut off right there it looks, it's a, looks more like a smaller air filter here but this is a this is a, the 2049 is a um, GP38-2 Uh, this is the things I had planned on having the decals made of the 2044. Have you ever had planned on making any decals? This, this kind of plans the things they will send you back if you want to make your own decals. See, I'm doing the uh, 2044. That's what they send you back. This is what the decals would look like uh, when they would print them out. Okay, these uh, decals, you can't see the white lettering. Uh, it's not exactly done like a microscope would do with theirs. Uh, they would use, they had to use a blue background so you can see the white lettering. I hope these things are not too thin and the uh, blue will show through them. They look almost silvery looking. But I'll put the name up and everything who, had, who I had made the decals for. I'm bad with names. So thank you, Nick. <laughs> he made these dick. Uh, he made these uh, decals for me. So I'm just gonna call you Nick. I know I'm bad with your last name. Okay, take a look at these two parts here. Uh, this is off the 38, and this is off the GP9, the Red Caboose GP9. Uh, you actually can use this piece here on the GP38. All you do is work, work on the area here. It'll fit right in this groove here. All you do is remove some of this area here. If you look, you see it fits the exact same size, but you have to work on this area here to get it to fit on here. The spacing of the stacks are the same. If you take a look at that, see what the spacing at and the distance between the rear of the GP38 and the uh, GP9 are the same. See about the exact same size, the same length, and the same width. All you do is put it right there. Work on these, work down these edges here and you have your non-dynamic brake. The other thing you can do with this is uh, you also remove this part here, the paper air filter, and readjust the size. Now, if you remember the photographs I showed you, uh, I actually make that smaller paper air filter and by lengthening this by using these two pieces so you can make the, uh, what I believe is a 5047, the 2050 57. I uh, seem to have to be a smaller paper air filter on there. 
and you had to readjust your uh, length of your uh, dynamic 